Hello everybody and welcome back to Epic Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum. Right, before we actually get into the details of the Fair Valley Gap that was formed here as price exploded yesterday uh, and where the price could bottom, make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you want to stay updated to the content that we post almost every single day, uh, make sure to also click on this bell icon as well. Right. Alternatively, you can also give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I post, uh, both on my Twitter and on my YouTube channel, make sure to also give me a follow at Mangeko with the zero at the end. Right. Heading back to uh, Ethereum, uh, they're unlike Bitcoin. Ethereum's uh, kind of done well collecting liquidity. Uh, the price has uh, recovered above the 26th May crash, and it's uh, it kind of made made a run at the uh, swing high from here on May 25th at roughly 2020 right but it kind of fell short and there i i am going to consider this as an equal high right so that said uh things are looking pretty good here for ethereum now there could there could be a retracement not, or not there could be there will be a retracement considering the way bitcoin is uh is positioned right now right so now the question is if the retracement is going to cauterize uh the bleed around 1900 or if it's going to break down the 1900 level and come back all the way down to 1813, uh, mainly because of the fair value gap that is present here, extending from 1830 to 1867. That is the only question that is uh, kind of indecisive, right? So the bottom could occur for uh, Ethereum at 1910, or it could occur at 1813. Either way, these are the two levels where I'm going to be accumulating Ethereum uh, for my futures position. Uh, and as for the take profit levels here, I'm going to be booking profit at any of these X mark levels here, which start from 2088 and extend all the way up to 2164. Now, if Bitcoin retraces down to the levels that I just mentioned in the previous video, which is if we get a sweep of the Monday's lower 29300, 20, then uh, there's a good chance price could uh, for Ethereum could come down to 1813. But if we kind of stop around the 50 retracement level at $30,000 for Bitcoin, then I don't see it coming all the way down here. But either way, if Bitcoin heads up to only 33K and does not show strength and does not make a run at 36K levels, then I think taking this, considering this as your final target, which is 2164 would be the best thing to do. But in the case that Bitcoin heads up to 36K, I think uh, these two high tier from resistance at 23,000, 2341 and 2412 uh, are worth noting. So uh, the upside for Ethereum is capped at 2400 if we are extremely bullish. And from a conservative standpoint, you could book profits around the equal highs here at 2020 after retracement down to 1830 or 1910. But you could play it a little risky and keep a partial uh, of your positions open a portion of the positions open and the profits around 24 2164 so yeah that is pretty much it for ethereum guys if you enjoyed this analysis please make sure to like comment and subscribe